Omnibus. What's up guys and welcome back to Pinball Omnibus episode 8 where I talk about a lot of things going on in this hobby in just a short amount of time. So let's get started. Let's start out with Home Pin, their previous game Thunderbirds as some of you may know. They announced their next title and that is going to be Spinal Tap and it's based off of the movie. The numbers all go to 11. Look right across the board. Now the information I'm about to give you is based upon the Pinball Network's TPS show. They had their uh, Dr. John, he did an interview with Mike in Taiwan talking about the game and here are some of those notes here. It was designed by several people. Before the playfield design, they actually planned out all the mechs that they were going to be putting into the game first. They also confirmed that there were mistakes that they did make with Thunderbirds, but they have learned from them. There's going to be two different screens. One of them is going to be your orange orange DMD dot matrix and you're going to have a 27 inch display on the back box and Mike specifies that he's actually not very fond of this monitor and this 27 inch LED display is going to be primarily showing you scenes from the movie. Cabinet images should be released in the next couple of months. There will not be any gameplay footage or any other like streaming or anything like that done with the game. Mike also says this is not going to be a very deep rule set game. So if you're into games that have a lot of deep rules and like complex multipliers and stuff like that, this will not be a game for you. It's going to be simple. And there's no price tag yet set in stone. Stern's next title, Godzilla, is going to be revealed in its entirety this week, more than likely on Tuesday. Chances are, as it has been in the history, we may get leaked images on Monday or not, but Tuesday we should have everything we need. There was a quick little teaser trailer kind of giving us a little bit of the feel of what the game will be like, I guess theme base wise. And it, for me, it looks like it's going to be a dark version of Godzilla like a dark tone to it. I can say that there will be a moving mechanism within the premium and the LE that is supposed to give you the nice wow factor. Jeff Patterson with This Week in Pinball has announced that he will be on a hiatus for an undetermined amount of time at this point. The post is available on his website. He posted it on Facebook as well. Uh, at this point in time, he is not willing to divulge any information on or even off the record. I actually requested for it. This is a big bummer because a majority of the news that a lot of people get in this hobby to divulge to the rest of you is from this week in pinball because he is able to get a lot of the inside information, the deep dives that he puts on his website. He puts so much work and effort into this. Definitely something I'm not willing to do because he does this on an every week basis. He puts a lot of work into the Twippies and his website, guys. I think there's just a lot of things that he does for this hobby that are not a lot of people are even aware of. He's not gone forever, and as far as the Twippy Awards, if they're going to be a go or not, that is undetermined at this time. He's basically just specified that he's going to be taking a break for an undefined amount of time. Take your break, Jeff, but please come back soon. Next up is Steampunk Pinball. This is something that is definitely out of the ordinary. I remember seeing this shared on Facebook, watched the video on it and thought that was pretty cool. And uh, turns out this is done by a guy named Paul Clark. Paul Clark actually uh, sent me an email to give me a little bit more information about this game. And this is what he had to say. Steam Dream has lived in my mind for the last two years. I have spent the last seven months building it with a bit to go yet. Tons of problems and challenges for me as I am no engineer. I'm just a pinball loving guy with my own little dream. If you can't tell by looking at the game, this definitely looks like a Black Knight 2000 that has been converted into uh, something definitely out of the ordinary. Keep up the work, Paul. The game definitely looks intriguing. Cannot wait to see it in action. Within the last couple of weeks, a group of us pinball lovers here in Texas came together to do a little bit of a Labor Day celebration. And one of those guests was Barry Ausler. And I got to see him sign Ed Vanderveen's Doctor Who. So this is Edward Vanderveen's Doctor Who. And we've got the designer Barry Owlsler here that is going to be signing Ed Vanderveen's Doctor Who pinball machine. Translite. Oh, the Translite.
Nice. Look at that. Nice. All right. Yeah, that's the finest signature I've ever seen from a designer. Yeah. <laughs> you take on this play field, dude. Is that is that what you were wanting? It looks hot. It looks gorgeous. <laughs> it looks that, much better than it did before. Mm -hmm. So it we went in and reset the inserts and then clear coated the whole thing. It looks great. Him. I mean, it looks like a brand new play field. I thought it was a Merco one or something. I saw no, it. No. Does it look as good as you saw it back in the day, whenever it first yeah, came I mean, off? It looks, the, looks brand new. It looks brand new. Straight from the designer's mouth, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin Moore did the restoration on this game, and it looks sexy. As some of you have probably already noticed, it looks like the getaway is down again. It's not necessarily down, it's just currently off because I'm working on the Pin Sound package for it. The next cap mix will be the getaway. I'm excited about this one. I'll give you a little bit of a teaser as of right here. As I'm going through all the sounds and audio files for this particular sound package, this is going to be um, a daunting task, if you will, for what I have in store for it. I'm looking forward to it. It's just definitely going to take longer than my previous sound packages that I've done. So Chicago Gaming Company should be giving us a full reveal of their Cactus Canyon remake this month. I mean, we're about halfway through right now. Uh, I am aware that they are supposed to be doing some filming and recording of an upcoming video to basically hopefully give us the wow factor of the game. Something to note is that they've already got over 850 silk screen play fields ready to go. The code will be complete, including people from back in those days that gave the new coders an idea of what they were wanting to do back then. So we're going to see Cactus Canyon in the ideal state that they wanted it to be back in the 90s. Medieval Madness Remake will be returning to the line in early 2023. And if you're curious, there was only a total of 378 Medieval Madness Royal Editions ever made. One of those is obviously at the Churchill Cabinets where CGC is at, so technically there are only 377 of those Royal Editions are out in the wild. Christopher Franchi has also specified that he is doing the Art Blades for a Cactus Canyon remake, so that's something else to look forward to right there. P3 Multimorphic has released their next game, but it's only going to be changing in software. This is not a new module pack, so $500 for a new game utilizing the Cosmic Kart Racing module it is the sorcerer's apprentice now this is not their license title they have basically teased at us so we will be having a license theme for multimorphic in the future when that's going to be revealed don't know yet and finally we have stern announcing that they are putting their games online and this new hardware feature that's going to be able to be added to a lot of the games that have already been released such as my teenage mutant ninja turtles Deadpool, Iron Maiden, I can go on. Basically, your Spike 2 systems should be able to be uh, installed this new hardware that will be released. And the upcoming title, Godzilla, will obviously already have it integrated. Here's the thing. I was going to do a video on this, guys. I really was. But I wanted to wait to see what the price was. So in a nutshell, I'm going to tell you that this is something I'm definitely looking forward to. I see the potential. I'm excited about it. But I need to know what that price is. Stern, if you can set this price point correctly, I think that it will be massively well received, but chances are you're gonna be like, you know what, we're gonna charge a ridiculous amount of money. Chances are it's probably gonna be about five or 600 bucks because that's how much the price of the games are increasing on this next title. We're going to see a price jump of $600 across the board. If they could release that system, the Insider Connect system, as an upgrade for us to purchase for like 200 bucks, it's not gonna happen. I know it's not gonna happen, but I figured that would be the price point to where it would be most well received. What if it's even cheaper than that? Oh man, that'd be sweet. We should be getting the update from Pinball Brothers on September 24th for showing off their limited edition of their Alien Pinball. I need to state that my Alien Pinball video was released a couple of weeks ago and it has been very well received. I thank you all for the compliments. Some of those were saying that it was my best video to date. That's good to hear, I guess. I wasn't trying for that, but that's what it turned out to be. And I guess, you know, the best videos to date are the ones that don't include my face. 
Notes taken. Do not show me. Something else recently revealed was that Robert Mueller from Deep Root has basically gathered all the employees together and said that pretty much in a nutshell that everything that we're reading about and seeing about is not true. He will fight this till the bitter end and everyone needs to start looking for another job. So that is what has been told and... We'll see what comes of this in the future. For those of you out there that like to have pinball-related apparel, then by all means, let's talk a little bit about that from a different couple of people here, one of them being straight down the middle, as well as the pinball show, and even Kaneda is finally throwing his hat into the ring when it comes to apparel and pinball-related content. When it comes to an update with my Johnny Demonic, I have got decals. They're laying across the playfield, as you can see right here. I've got the ramps assembled. I just need to get the ramp flaps done. I have a friend of mine that has the appropriate materials to do that. <sighs> Just got to work our schedules out to where we can get together to get that done. I recently posted a poll on my community page asking those of you out there, which of these two games are you more interested in for this month? And that was either between Cactus Canyon Remake or Godzilla. And we have a total of 262 votes, with 67% of that going to Godzilla. And that should conclude this omnibus episode. You are going to see more than likely a couple of videos from me this week. That's typically how it goes when it comes to Stern releasing a new title. That we go over gameplay and thoughts and opinions and stuff like that. So by all means, you should see more stuff from me this week. If you like what you've seen here, give me the thumbs up. It really helps out the channel, guys. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button down there. Ding my dong. That way you can be notified of whenever I upload something for your viewing pleasure. And until next time, guys, peace out.